Hello guys, welcome back to the FE exam review series where we solve FE problems that's going to help you guys pass your FE exam. In today's video, we're going to do another mechanical design and analysis section problem, specifically under parts J, manufacturability. So let's dive in. Oh yeah, now let's go over the problem. So we have a hole that has a basic size of 15 millimeters and is designed for a sliding fit and we want to determine the maximum hole size, okay? So what you guys need to do here is first grab the equation for the maximum hole size and then you're going to have to determine the tolerance. Now to determine the tolerance, you're going to have to look at the fits table. So on the reference handbook, you have a table that has the different types of fits. And then you're going to grab the symbol for that. So here we have a sliding fit. And then from the symbol, you're going to determine the IT grade. And then once you determine the IT grade, then you're going to have to go to another table to find the tolerance. Okay. So what I want you guys to do is go ahead and pause this video, give this problem a try, go to the reference handbook, get yourself familiar with the tables that are there, the equations, and then we'll go over it together. Okay. Now, in addition to this, we are also going to find the minimum hole size. It is not part of the problem, but we are going to solve it just in case if you guys get that on the fe exam and then we are also going to go over the limit size for the shaft okay i want to make sure that i cover these concepts so that way you guys are ready for your fe exam so i'll see you guys in a little bit If you guys are enjoying this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and please share our channel with your friends so that it can help them pass the fe exam it really helps our channel out a lot and this way we can create more content and bring you guys more fe problems and share more tips to help you guys with your fe journey and then maybe the pe journey soon as well okay all right guys let's go back to this problem so the way we're going to solve this problem, so as I mentioned earlier, so the first thing we're going to do is go to the reference handbook and take a look at the tables and the equations that we have, okay? So here we have this table that has the different types of fits. And for every fit, we have a symbol. And this symbol provides the, the IT grade for the hole and the diameter, okay? So in the problem, we were giving sliding fit, so which means the symbol is going to be H7 and then G6. Let's write this down. So this is how we usually write the symbol. So we would do the basic size and then plus this depending on the type of fit that we have, okay? Now, another thing to note, guys, is whenever we see uppercase, that's usually for the whole, lowercase is usually for the shaft. So this seven here is the IT grade for the whole, the six is the IT grade for the shaft. Once you understand that, the rest is pretty easy, okay? So next thing we're gonna do is go to the reference handbook and take a look at the tolerance table, okay? So here, you guys are giving the tolerance table. We have an IT7, and then we have a basic size of 15, which is between 10 and 18. So the tolerance grade is gonna be 0 0.018, okay? And so what we're gonna do here is we're going to add that to the basic size because the maximum hole size is going to be equal to the basic size plus the tolerance. So if we go back to the reference handbook, you are actually giving that equation. So here you have the equations for the hole. Okay. So we're going to do 15 here plus 0 0.018 and that's going to give us 15.018. So now if you take a look at the multiple truth, the answer is going to be D. Okay. So make sure that you guys take note of this. Make sure that you guys add this to cheat sheet so that way you don't remember it. It's very important. Like I said, once you understand that, the rest is pretty simple. Okay. And in a little bit, we are going to go over the minimum diameter for the hole and then also for the the limit sizes for the shaft okay but before we do that i just want to share with you guys our cheat sheet so uh, we have a cheat sheet that covers a lot of equations and concepts that are important for the fe exam and then also we clarify a lot of the equations that are on the reference handbook which can be very helpful for your fe preparation so make sure that you guys download it here and if you don't get it for whatever reason you can email us and we'll send it to you now let's go ahead and determine the minimum hole size so D min is not going to be equal to D minus the tolerance, okay? Very important that you guys remember that. D min is going to be equal to 15, okay? And that's because the lower deviation is zero. So when we have the whole basis system, there is no negative deviation, which means the smallest accessible hole is going to be 15. And then the maximum is going to be 
the basic size plus the tolerance okay you have this already on the reference handbook so you have the equation but you might look at the equation and then be confused okay but that's what this equation means okay very important that you guys remember that now let's do the same thing but for the shaft okay so let me go ahead and write here shaft okay so guys what we have covered this is for the hole now we're going to go over the shaft which means we're going to look at this term g6 okay so now what we need to do is grab the maximum and minimum equations from the reference handbook so here we have these two equations and then also these two equations so which ones are we going to go with well these two equations are for clearance fits and this is for transition or interference and if you guys look at the sliding fit it's under clearance and also it has letter g and these equations are for also letter g okay so we're going to use these equations here to determine d max and d min okay now note guys in these equations we have delta f so that's the fundamental deviation which we grab from this table here and i'm going to show you guys how we're going to use that table in a minute and then this equation has delta d which we use this table here okay just like we did with the whole size so let's go ahead and write the equations down and then we'll go over this more in depth so that you guys can see how we're going to apply these equations so d here guys that's going to be the basic size which is going to be 15 okay then we're going to add to it the fundamental deviation okay now the fundamental deviation we're going to grab it from this table here okay and we have letter g and then we have 15 so 15 is between 14 and 18 and so we're going to do minus 0 0.006 okay so let's go ahead and plug that in into this equation and then also just something to um, share with you guys so in our courses we do cover a lot of problems a lot of concepts and also we pretty much cover everything that's mentioned on the specifications and then all the equations and tables that are on the reference handbook so if you are looking for a course or if you are looking for study material that will help you pass your FE exam, make sure that you guys check out, out our courses. And then also I talk more about that at the end of this video. Now let's go ahead and determine the minimum shaft size. So it's, that's going to be the maximum diameter, which is 14.994. And then we're going to do minus the tolerance. Okay. Now this tolerance, we're going to grab it from this table here. So, but we just got to be careful guys, because for the shaft, we have it6 right because here it says g6 so we got to make sure that we use this column here and the basic size is 15 so it's going to be 0 0.011 okay so we're going to do this minus 0 0.0011 okay it was two zeros let me just double check and make sure no just one zero guys okay so this is how we determine the size limits for the hole and the shaft okay so make sure that you guys take notes of this make sure that you guys remember these concepts for your fe exam i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys are looking for more fe problems or if you are looking for a course to help you pass your fe exam make sure to check out our courses where we cover a lot of concepts and we do a lot of problems and i walk you through every single step and we do every problem on a video format just like we do here on our channel also our courses are lifetime access and you can take as much need as much time as you need to study for the fe exam so you can study anytime anywhere you want and then also our courses has helped many students pass the fe exam so check it out and if you guys of course have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below or you can email us now if you are interested in fe other disciplines course make sure that you guys sign up here and we'll send it we'll send you guys an email once we launch that course so we're gonna launch it soon okay um yeah that's it thank you guys for watching i hope you have a great productive week and i will see you guys on the next video à la prochaine